Alrighty then. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla, and welcome to another year. We have completed Inktober. If you've completed it, if you participated, if you only drew one Inktober video, congratulations, we got through it. Happy November! So that means it's Christmas now, right? <laughs> All right, so this is my sketchbook tour and not all of my Inktober doodles from 2018 are in here. They're also in a couple pieces of paper I'm gonna bring in because I did different techniques for every week of Inktober. Remember I suggested that everybody should, if you follow a prompt list, go ahead and write down your prompt list or at least write down what you're going to draw for each day of Inktober. And this is Jake Parker's prompt list. First day of Inktober was poisonous. So I drew enchanted. Second day was tranquil and I drew the caterpillar from Alice in Wonderland because he's always smoking hookah and having a good time. The very next day um, was roasted and this is where the prompt started giving me a little bit of difficulty. So I drew Michael Scott and I'm like that doesn't work. And then I started to draw Sleeping Beauty I'm like I don't like the way that this looks. And so I drew Sleeping Beauty with roasted coffee because she probably needs a lot of coffee and then I was just like ah, I don't know if that works either. And then I finally just resolved myself to go ahead and draw roasting marshmallows over Anger's head. And I'm not, I hated the way I drew Joy. I was like, she's very, she's already a disproportionate character, but at the same time I was like, um, I really don't like the way I drew Joy. And the next day was Spell. So I drew the Sanderson sisters because it only seemed appropriate. and. I did not like the way that this turned out. I actually really hated it. So the next day was chicken, so I drew blue and I I drew jewel together because I just figured, and look, it's super shiny. It's really cool. And this was the first drawing in my ILO sketchbook that actually bled through. And I just thought, well, dang. I mean, I was really piling on the ink, but I love the way that the ink shows. And I've got some of the sparkles, sparkles from over here coming onto here. This was day exhausted because Tiana is always exhausted, but she's very persevering and she's chasing her dreams. So I did draw Tiana. So Jack Jack was for drooling. And then I wanted to draw myself drooling over my boyfriend. And once again, I totally messed up on his character. That's not the way, I don't know what kind of art block I was having, but then finally, the way I drew his character, how I usually draw his character, finally got onto the paper because it was just, I was just struggling. So this is me drooling over uh, my fiance now, but I didn't know at the time. And then I drew Hilda. I didn't have the correct blue, shade of blue for her hair, but I wanted to draw Hilda. The next day for the prompt was Star. So I drew Captain America as Nomad from the Infinity War, but I really like the way that this turned out. All the highlights are done with ink and the ink is for um, paint airbrushing. So I just really like the way that I got to experiment a lot with, um, these were done with my Copic markers, my warm grays and my cool grays. The next day was Precious and I drew Frodo from the Lord of the Rings holding up the ring because so many times people were referring to the ring as Precious. For the next day, I drew Cinderella, the live action Cinderella because the word was flowing. So when I drew flowing, I knew off the bat that I wanted to draw a dress. So I thought of the fluffiest dress that I just absolutely loved and I love 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 the live-action Cinderella dress I think it's beautiful so I went ahead and drew that I was really surprised on how much attention this drawing got so this day was cruel and I was trying to think of really really cruel characters and I thought of the other mother because how manipulative and controlling and horrible and deceptive that she is just because she eats children basically. Or at least kidnaps them and then steals their parents and blah 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 blah. Obviously she's one of the most cruelest villains. So I drew Dory in my illo for whale and cause Dory talks whale and I did this little speech bubble of like the whale text messages that people used to do. I still use it. I don't know how many people still text using the little whale kind of speech bubble, but this was not my original idea. It actually was, but somebody beat me to it. <laughs> the next day for Tone Tan Sketches was Guarded. So I drew Ray just because I interpreted her as a guarded person because she's being deceived left and right on who she is and what's going on in her life. And she just, she's just struggling with a lot. So I thought, 
who would be a better person to be guarded against like trusting anyone because I'd certainly be if I was in Ray's situation. And then the last day of the Tone Tan sketches was clock. Instead of drawing Marty McFly, I went ahead and I decided to draw Doc from Back to the Future. Because let's be honest, he is a Time Lord. He is an unrecognized Time Lord. Do you agree with me? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Okay, so back to my illo. I actually did these out of order because I didn't know who to draw for week. Finally, I came up with the idea to draw week as in Jareth and Sarah from the movie Labyrinth, Jim Henson's Labyrinth. It's an amazing movie if you haven't seen it yet. When he's at his weakest point because she's about to win and she says, you have no power over me and I went ahead and I was like, yeah. And then Angular was the next day. So I drew Herc and Meg because Actually, all the character design from Hercules is very sharp and angular. The next day was swollen, so I drew Sully and Mike from Monsters University when they're doing the uh, toxicity challenge and they touch the sea urchin things and this is what they look like when they're all swollen and hurting. I thought this was just adorable. The next day was bottle, so I drew Captain Jack Sparrow with a bunch of bottles of rum and I don't really like the way that this turned out and it could be just that I think I drew his forehead too large so it was the bandana that totally threw me off. I went through a lot of ideas for the next day which was Scorch and I thought about drawing Toothless with like a baby dragon trying to take him on and trying to scorch his face and he's just like what are you doing? <laughs> and then I thought of Tefiti so I wanted to draw her transitioning into Taka and how she's becoming Scorch with fire because her heart is gone. So I ended up drawing Tafiti and Moana when Moana realizes that it is Tafiti and not Taka and that's the reason why her heart is missing and that's why she looks the way she does. So I, I went with that with Scorch because Taka is just this volcanic person. <laughs> For Breakable, I drew Vanellope and Ralph because it only seems fitting because we all get to see Wreck-It Ralph 2 this Thanksgiving. Disney finally made a Wreck-It Ralph 2. I'm totally excited. And I actually, for the day drain, I went ahead and I drew Hilda and her dear fox twig because I was watching all of Hilda. I watched Hilda in two days during Inktober and I became so inspired. And there is an episode where Hilda and and her friends do go into a drain to talk to this monster that's made up completely of rats. I think it's the Rat King of the Sewer. So I thought of that as a drain kind of theme, but at the same time, I really just wanted to draw Hilda in my own style. And then here is a doodle of Mulan that I was just drawing for fun. I was waiting for my mom to get done with her dentist appointment, and I went to Starbucks for a couple hours, and I went ahead and I drew Mulan while sitting there and sipping on some coffee. And then I did a Draw This In Your Style challenge where you see, I, if you follow me on Instagram, and I did post it on the community board, if you wanted to participate, then you can, of redrawing this vampire character I made, uh, Black Cherry Knight, I called it because she's drinking black cherries, when honestly, it's just probably blood ice cream. <laughs> I started off with this style, which was actually using watercolor paper and still using the inks and treating them as watercolors. So I drew Rapunzel in my own style, and then I drew Merida in my own style, drew Ariel, and I'm still trying to do minimal color and all kinds of black and white just to show that it is ink, and I just really 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 love how all the ink showed up on watercolor paper. I've never used ink. I mean I've used ink as watercolor but I've never used it on watercolor paper and I was falling in love how it was looking. I always used my ink and like a watercolor technique in my illo but I've never used it on watercolor paper. So here's Moana. Here's Belle. Here's Mulan again, and then here's Sleeping Beauty. I love the way that this turned out. It is by far one of my favorites. I love, 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 love how the pink and the blue mesh together because I knew that this was what I wanted to do, but I didn't know that the ink would turn out like this. So I love the way that this turned out. And then I drew Jasmine. And then the last final day of Inktober, I drew Jack and Sally. So 
This was actually a scrawler box challenge to draw something in a film noir kind of sense. So that's why I drew Jack and Sally because it was Halloween. And then I drew them in the theme of film noir, jazz noir. It was actually the theme. So let's see if there's anything. I think I drew a lot more in here. Oh, of course I drew Ronald playing in the leaves with pumpkins around him. I always draw Ronald. He's my favorite thing to draw. <laughs> I actually drew this today because I was like, um, now that it's November, I don't know what to draw anymore. <laughs> oh, wow. And then my, my fiance, Steven, he's very, 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 very talented himself. Didn't even look at a, a reference for this. He just wanted to draw something and he actually, he drew Venom because we went and saw Venom, which is an awesome movie. And he didn't look at a reference or nothing. It was in his head. The only reference he looked at was the actual title because he wanted to know what Venom looked like the actual, you know, the typography for the movie poster. So he looked at that, but everything else was right out of his head. And he used a brush pen, which is just, it blows me away. He's super talented. And then my cousin Faith just, she just destroys everything. No, I'm kidding. She wanted to try all my pins. So what do I think after this year? I did about 25, 26 videos for Inktober. I posted every, almost every single day. I got pretty sick towards the end and life became a little bit overwhelming. But I love how I got to do almost a bit of different worlds of inking. I do like that I tried everything. Um, the only thing I wouldn't do next year is post a video every day because it became too overwhelming and it became a little bit of a burden. I know this was my second year posting a video every day, but I do not think that I would do it again. And I think I'm going to do my own prompts next year. Jake Parker's prompts are awesome, but this year was a little bit difficult and I saw that a lot of the prompts were very repetitive compared to last year. So I don't want to do his prompts anymore. <laughs> I hope you guys all got a chance to participate in Inktober this year. You all are amazing. Thank you for all your encouragement through every single day. Uh, thank you for watching the ones that watched my videos. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this and happy November. It's Christmas time. Get pumped. <laughs> Make sure you follow me on Instagram to go ahead and take a look. I will get close. I'm going to do my advent calendar. I don't record that as a video. I'll probably record like the last couple of days, but I will be doing my advent calendar for Christmas, which is a countdown 25 days calendar to Christmas. And I hope you all follow me on there to give me suggestions because it's one of my favorite things to do. I hope you all have a most wonderful day and November and I will see you all later. Thank you all so much for your support. Love you all. 